Joining us now is Bear County Sheriff Javier Salas, our sheriff. Thank you so much for coming back on the show. Uh, you've opened up a criminal investigation into this Martha's Vineyard flight. Have you questioned the parties involved who you suspect lured migrants out of the Migrant Resource Center? No, up to now, we've, we've communicated with the attorneys representing the folks in this case that, that, that we're considering to be potential victims and witnesses. Uh, we do want to get firsthand accounts from these folks to the extent possible, so right now we're in the planning stages uh, for that. We do have some persons of interest tentatively identified by name, one, at least one of them by name. I'm not at liberty to give those names, and then with some of them we just have pictures of and we're trying to get them identified. One of our political embed reporters in Florida, Miles Cohen, caught up with Governor DeSantis during a presser. He asked him specifically about you. I'd like to play a clip. How would you respond to the sheriff in Texas who's saying that these migrants were lured under false pretenses to boarding those planes? Yes, that's false. If you heard him there, he said that's false, that they were lured under false pretenses. That was the response to being asked about migrants being lured there. What's your reaction to that? Well, I, you know, look, the governor's got his opinion of what occurred. At some point, I'm going to get a good firsthand account of what occurred. And, and maybe the governor and I just have to agree to disagree on the facts of the case. Do you consider the transportation of these migrants to be human trafficking? Well, it could be. Uh, you know, once we get to talk to these folks uh, in person and we find out exactly what was said and done while they were here in Bear County, because let's be frank, that's the only part of this, this whole incident that I have any control over is what physically occurred in my county. If we're able to prove up that they were, they were transported from here under false pretenses, uh, that could, uh, uh, could be tantamount to criminal conduct and it will be dealt with accordingly. A lack of resources seems to be really the recurring theme with our immigration system and the border. How far do you plan to take this criminal investigation? And does your county have the resources to possibly build a case against a sitting governor of another state if the evidence calls for that? Well, look, I think it's a bit of a stretch at this point to say that we're putting a case on the, on the, on the governor. Uh, we've actually never said that. What, what, I, what I do plan is finding out what did the people that were physically here in my county, what did they say and do to these people? And those are the folks that I, say, I can say we're concentrating our efforts on. Beyond that, I don't know what, what may become necessary, but I can tell you that uh, we will have to make resources uh, you know, to, to hold folks accountable. At this point, I can't say that I'm going to be holding anybody outside of my county responsible for anything. Uh, but once, once it comes to that point, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You'll follow wherever the investigation leads, it sounds like. And we had you on our show almost three months ago after that horrible human smuggling tragedy that left 53 dead. You were sounding the alarm well mm -hmm. before then. You've written three letters to President Biden. Here you are sounding the alarm again. Uh, you told us that you had reached out, but did you ever have a, a concrete meeting or any kind of true correspondence? No, there really hasn't been an, uh, a meaningful meeting uh, to this point. I mean, we, we did receive, I did receive a phone call from somebody uh, in the administration that, that we tried to, tried to get something going and it just never came to fruition. And quite frankly, we've had two additional deaths in my county since then that we know of that we're handling. Uh, and so the problem is still there. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. And these problems, like what we're confronting right now, are, are kind of offshoot issues uh, from the from the big main issue that we've we've got a humanitarian crisis going on. How do you feel that that should be, or what are at least some initial steps in trying to solve and tackle that crisis? Well, you know, realizing I'm not the president, realizing I'm not a sitting governor, I'm a cop. Uh, I can bring some some what I think are common sense approaches from a from a 30 year cop's perspective. Uh, and I'm certainly willing to do that. I'll give my opinion to whoever asks for it, and maybe even some people that don't ask for it are going to get it. Um, but, but certainly, I'm, I'm, I, I, I don't purport to have all of the solutions, but I'm willing to be part of the solution if somebody will just uh, you know, come to Texas and, and let's discuss it. Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar, we thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Be safe. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.